yo, what's going on shroomies and shroomettes, it's your boy, Easy Blue Thumb, and we are here, the very first video of the very first inoculation in the attempt to cultivate mushrooms. That is the goal, and we must achieve by any means. So, let's get to it, man. Since this is my very first time, I was looking for the most inexpensive way possible to try to grow some mushrooms. Because I'm cheap as hell, one, and I didn't want to waste my money or my time because after doing the research, I figured I'm going to have to do some waiting. So I found um, 90 Second Mycology's page and the technique that I'm using right here could be found on his page. He goes in depth with it. Um, to my knowledge, this is his creation. So everything that I'm doing here is pretty much what he shows on his video. So I want to thank you for that because that led me to this point today. So if you have no equipment and we're doing this with the bare minimum, uh, you want to at least turn off your AC at least an hour before. You don't want to be running back and forth. Make sure your fans are off. And you want to go ahead, spray some 70% iso alcohol on your surface, around it, above it, on the side of it, clean all of it up. Wear a mask too, because I like to spray alcohol. I sprayed this whole bottle. So we're gonna start by just taping with our um, micropore tape, just so that once we have our holes on the bag, we don't have to go and reach for the tape. You can see it's a little sticky with the gloves. Uh, so we're just going to put those on the side until we're ready for them. Now, let's start with a multi-spore syringe. Again, ISO your hands. ISO everything. Shake your syringe up because the spore syringe has clumps in there. You can see the clumps of spores inside the liquid solution. So just shake it up pretty good. Since this is the first time ever using this needle and ever doing this, you don't need to sterilize your needle because it's fresh out the pack. I got OCD, so I move a lot. Don't mind me, we're getting into it. So, wipe down your bags. These bags are already wiped down. You want to inject 0.5 to 0.7 cc of your multi-spore inside the bag. Now, what I did, I picked a spot on the bag that I can actually know that's where I'm going every single time because I got lost once and then I just had to keep taping and taping. Um, so make sure you just pick a spot and always hit that spot so you know exactly where you're looking for. You know exactly where your hole's at. After you get it in there, you put your micropore tape on it. And that one is good to go. Put it on the side. And we start the next one. So, grab the next one. You grab your paper towel. Spray some 70% ISO. Now, the reason why we use 70 and not 90 is because 90 evaporates too fast and it won't clean up the bacteria that may be on your package. 
So you can see I don't even have a torch. This is how bare minimum we're starting. So you can use a lighter, it doesn't matter, as long as the needle gets red. And you can see like some of it spurting out as it's being evaporated. You just want to sterilize it again. Well, sterilize it for the first time because it's a fresh one. Let it cool down a second. Find your spot where you want to inject. And get to it. Now we're going to do the same, inject your 0.5 to 0.7. And honestly, I couldn't even see what I was injecting because the company that I got the syringe from taped it at the top. So I couldn't even read the first two CCs. So I just put whatever amount I felt in my hand was enough. Tape it up, put it to the side. And I start the next one. Now, same process for the next one. Just going to speed it up. Um, there does start to have a black soot that accumulates on your needle. Um, that's fine. You could go ahead and use that. You don't have to wipe it down or anything. It's sterile. It's just soot. It's okay. It's all sterile. And there we go going to clean up again a little bit. I love that ISO. You know what I'm saying? Going to cap up our needle. You don't want to inject yourself. Then you turn into a big old shroomy. I mean, hey, that might not be so bad, but we're going to put it up, cap it up, and that one is done. All right, all right. So with that, cap that. Put your syringe over to the side. We are now going to start the fresh air exchange holes or the gas exchange holes. Remember, mushrooms breathe just like us. So they're going to need fresh oxygen for the carbon dioxide that they produce, right? So that's what we're gonna do. You want to start again, get your micro pore tape, set yourself up, man. Do not set yourself up for failure. Be prepared when you're doing this. Okay. You want to move with, uh, how do they say? Move with authority, move with action, move swift. That's how you want to move. You don't want to create too much air. So you don't want to keep going back and forth, back and forth. Set yourself up. Do your process. And you'll be good. So I'm just going to prepare these bags before I do anything. Okay, so you want to pinch the corner of the bags so that way you create like a little space in between them, in between the two layers. And you want to take your needle, clean your hands, I so, I so, clean your hands, um, grab your, your needle that you're going to use to make your gas exchange holes and you want to clean the area where you're going to put your gas exchange holes sanitize your needle i love that iso <laughs> i love that iso don't judge me i'm trying to grow mushrooms everyone says use iso i will use it okay you want to Sterilize your needle, bong bong, let it get red, let it cool down. And then 
checked. I don't even think I let this one cool down. Nah, okay, yeah, I did. I know one of them I didn't. Here we go. You want to kind of... Yeah, that's my first time, so I was a little rough. That first hole was a little rough, I ain't gonna lie. It took me a little longer than I thought to make it. Okay, you want to take that up with your micro pour. And give it like a give it some give it some uh some space. Like make the hole big. Give it don't be cheap. Let them things breathe. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Same with the other side. Pinch it a little bit. Separate the layers. Sterilize your needle. Let it cool down. Make your gas exchange. Tape it back up. And you're going to do this process, of course, the same for your other two bags. Um, what I did when I... Did when I made the gas exchange for my other bags, I tried to make each one a little different so that way I can see if I have different results with more exchange or less exchange, you know. So try to experiment a little bit too. But on 90 seconds page, he said, Well, he has a video that he's using a hole punch and a video of you cutting the corner of the bag so you know however you want to go about it but i chose this way this way seemed the easiest for me and um just do the same process for the other two bags um just to be transparent i also two days later i also inoculated another three Uncle Ben's rice bags because I just felt like I would need more, you know, and to have testing variables too. I'm a testing variable type of guy and I just wanted to have as much as possible so that way I could test to see what I did wrong, what I didn't do wrong, you know, do what works for you. I'm just saying this is my process. This is my journey from start to finish. So I'm just being transparent and honest. So we are back exactly two weeks later. You know, I couldn't wait. Oh, man, I couldn't wait. But you got to be patient. I ain't got patience. So we're going to do the break and shake. But before that, of course, you want to turn off the air, all circulating fans, clean your workstation, 70% ISO. Get your containers, clean your containers just because I'm, I'm weird like that. Um, this is the bin from the very first inoculation. Um, so this was done on 4-10. April 10th is when I first inoculated this. This date is now April 24th. And I'm going to show you. Oh, man. Look at this. Look at that. That's beautiful right there. All right. Now we're going to move on to bag number three. What we got, what we got. Oh, look at that. All three bags. Success. So far. So far. Success. That's that 410. That's that. That's the first bag that we inoculated. And this bag is feeling pretty nice. A little chunky at the top two in the top corner. It's really nice. So just go ahead and break this up as well. Same process. Same process. All right, all right, there we go. Three bags down, nice and mixed up. Now we let these sit for another two weeks, three weeks, however long they need to sit, they will sit and you will be patient. 
You will not be a degenerate and check the cabinets every five minutes like myself. Just be patient. Let the mycelium work and it'll do its thing. Okay, so we're just going to clean this bin up, pack them away, and we are going to mix up the next three bags that I inoculated two days after my first inoculation. Okay, so 410 and 412. These are the 410 bags, 412 bags. Next up. Okay, so these are the bags that I inoculated on April 12th, two days after my first inoculation. And we're gonna see what we got. Okay, okay, not so bad, not so bad for two days behind. Not bad at all. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead because I'm impatient. We're gonna break it up. <laughs> we're gonna break it up. I'm impatient, I can't wait. I wanna grow some mushrooms. And you do too. So we're gonna break it up prematurely and hope for the best. All right, so I'm gonna just quickly uh, fast forward through it and I'll show you the mycelium growth that I have with these bags being two days apart, just so you can get an idea of how quickly the mycelium network works. So let's get to it. Bag number two. Okay, all right. That one looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and mix this baby up. Bag number three. Okay. Ah, that one was about like the size of maybe a quarter. A little bit larger, not half dollar. Hopefully it was enough for that mycelium to hit some different. And just for anyone wondering how long you can let your substrate sit, if it's purchased by you know, other sources. This bag sat for about a month and a half. Well, yeah, it sat for longer, month and a half. And I just kept it in, a, I kept it in the box, in the closet, you know, regular room temperature. So if anyone is wondering how long Because of one reason, when I was sleep, when I slept on it, I felt that I could have used just a little bit more um, of the multi-spore syringe because, like I said, I couldn't really see. So I just tapped it and then that was it. I didn't know if I injected the proper amount, but I just took my time with this one a little bit more, I think. And that's why we were able to get better results on this bag. So I'm going to go ahead now and add the rest of the substrate into this beautiful mixture of mycelium and uh, Uncle Ben's brown rice. I'm going to try to hold on to some of that grain so I can use my pseudo casing. All right. So you just want to mix this up really well on this six quart shoebox that I have. It has this crevice area along the inside so you just want to make sure you get inside those crevices and mix that up really well because I didn't do that so much on this uh, second shoe box that we're preparing okay so just make sure you get inside those crevices because you really don't want um your grain and just be sitting in the corner. You want it touching some substrate. You want it on there. You want it all mixing and mingling, all right? So let's clean this up and let's set this one uh, to colonize.
Okay, I want to show you real quick because uh, I ran out of substrate for that. So that top is not fully colonized. And like I said right here, that bottom piece um, crevice around six o'clock is not mixed in well with the substrate. So we're going to have to seriously keep an eye on this bin, I'm guessing. But we're going to label it anyways and... We're gonna set this up to colonize and hopefully we get some mushroom. It'll be nice to have some mushrooms on the first run, you know? That'll be a huge success, a good feeling. But if not, we'll just try again. I have uh, another bag of substrate and the store's right around the corner. Get some more Uncle Ben's, no problem. So we're gonna label this up. We're gonna pack this up. And we're just going to check back in maybe a week or so. And let's see what we got. Okay, okay. Hey, so if you made it to the end, I really appreciate you. I sincerely do. It means a lot. I put a lot of effort into this being my first video. I wanted to leave a good impression. And I want to thank the rookie mycologist because his videos and his blueprint was exactly what i followed for this video because like i said i wanted to make a great first impression or at least try my best at making a good impression you know you know so salute to rookie mycologist salute to 92nd mycology and salute to everyone else out there that's making content about these beautiful mushrooms that we all love you are greatly appreciated, and thank you, and I appreciate you guys. I'm out, shroomies. Peace.